Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name's Dan. My name is Mike. Dan, what are we gonna drink? Oh, Mike, uh, we're gonna jump into a beer from the cellar. Okay. So. And you know it's gonna be good. Well, the quality, the quality in your cellar. <laughs> my beer that's been down there for so long. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is from the brewery. And oh, the, brewery. Uh, the brewery, they're out of uh, Placentia, New York. Ah. Or California. Sorry, I don't want to say New York. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, so this is No Work Till Monday. And this is a double barrel-aged imperial stout with toasted coconut, macadamia nuts, and pineapple. Oh. And this bitch comes in at 19.4 ABV. Well, that's an ABV. That's a lie. It's 19.6. <laughs> 19.4 from Listen, New York. We don't come prepared. We don't come no, prepared. No. Uh, we, we took this out of the cellar. We popped it in the freezer for, I don't know, 15, 20 yeah. minutes. Um, so this is the 2021 edition. Okay. And uh, this is, call it a long weekend. Put on your sunglasses and Ooh. take a sip. We took our bourbon barrel-aged imperial stout, Aloha Friday. Double barrel aged it for added complexity and richness okay. and added even more tropical flavor with fresh pineapple as well as perfectly toasted coconut oh. and macadamia nuts. Mm. So, yeah. Right. Well, we'll get into it. All right. Uh, uh, there is a date open, so. bottled on November 21, 21. Oh, like that. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. When so, did you get this one? Was this. Uh... So, we got this. It's a year? I would say, yeah, about a year ago, we uh, did a, a brewery box. Okay. And uh, we reviewed one of the beers with Kyle, the Petit Mardi, I think it was, or Mardi yeah, Petit, something, something like, like that. that. Uh, so Mike was uh, getting the wax off, and it already gave it a hiss off camera. So, yeah. Uh, they're definitely, it's definitely carved. Yeah, uh, it Sweet uh, <clears throat> hashtag proper Look at that. brewery glasses Look that at came that. with the thing. You'll be able to see it better with the beer in it. Brewery's all right. Uh, so it's been hit or miss with the beers I've had so far. Out yeah, of the, uh, we we had one on camera, a couple of clunkers, and I don't even think we checked it in. Now that I'm thinking about it, because I didn't I see it on the list. It. Might have to go back and look for the review. Remember, it was like it was like that porter that was like or stout that was like super thin. Yeah, and it was like, what well, what was the other one though that was? I feel like we had like a farm ale or something like that that was just. Oh, it was the the gin barrel. The... Oh, that's what it was. It was just horrific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So, um, okay. The head is what head? Yeah, what head? <laughs> okay. That that's oily. Um, now you can see that brewery logo a little bit better. Gorgeous glassware. Uh, pitch black. I mean, there is there's nary a sliver of yeah. color on the bottom there. The head's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Uh, that's gonna win. Oh, well, that's it. Smells that's pleasant. <laughs> it smells good. Oh man, all those barreled fruit notes mm. are there. Oh, very rich, deep chocolate. <sighs> I guess the sweetness. So is the sweetness from the coconut and the pineapple mixed? Uh, it might be. I mean, so, all I'm getting is like barrel and some like dark. Chocolate right now. Yeah, so that barrel. There Oh man. Right? That deep <laughs> oak and chocolate. So it's very nice. I haven't had a barrel aged stout in quite some time okay. now with all this warm weather, so <laughs> it does smell really good. The pineapple plays well with that uh cherry esque kind of Oh yeah, thing. I was just gonna say the cherry just popped out. It's like a chocolate covered <sighs> pineapple with like the barrel oh it, this smells fantastic. It really does. The pineapple is like, it, it's almost like a, a pre-cut dole pineapple with some chocolate over it. Like chocolate shell, almost. Oak. Like if it was on ice cream. Yeah. You know? This nice oak to so it. good. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, yeah, let's dive in. Yeah, Cheers. We can talk about more. Yeah. Oh, oh. brewery's back. <laughs> the brewery's back, baby! Brewery's back! Burn it here! Reserve Society back on! <laughs> Take all my money! Oh, man. 19.6? I think the body is. 
I was gonna say I think the body's a bit thin, it's th but the mouthfeel makes it so the yes. mouthfeel is a little oily and syrupy. Yes. But the but it makes up Ooh. for the body being thin. I'm getting that booze. I can tell there's a lot of booze right now. It's warming dramatically. Wow. I think everything I was getting on the nose is there on the flavor. This is insanely fruity. Yeah, like the pineapple is like, it's still that chocolate covered pineapple, mm -hmm. but it's exactly like, and I'm sticking with that chocolate shell on it. Like if you were just to chocolate shell some chunks of pineapple and just bite into it, you get that chocolate crunch and then just the juice of the pineapple mm -hmm. back in there. And it's mixing with all those berry, uh, the cherry in that barrel character really nicely. Deep chocolates. Oh, the barrel character. So you're getting, so on the very back end, oh. you're getting that barrel, that dryness from uh -huh. the barrel. And it's just saturated oak tannins. Um, like, you, you nailed it when he said, like, the, the deep, dark cherry. Bit of brown sugar, molasses. Like, that really kind of savory, kind of sweet aspect to it like pastry-esque almost to the point but then on top of that you get that dollop of all the fruits and it, it's very strange how fruity it is but yet you get a lot of like just barrel-aged beer too yeah yeah i i agree with you i i okay i expect this is to be a hot mess Remember that pineapple barley wine we had from Treehouse? Oh, yeah. We did yeah, it with yeah. uh, Joe, mm -hmm. and it just wasn't jamming. Yeah. Now, if the ABV... <clears throat> ABV is 19.6. If that mouthfeel wasn't syrupy and oily and kind of coating the tongue, mm -hmm. like the legs on this... Like, it... It leaves legs, definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, but yeah. if it wasn't for that, I think this beer might be in trouble because the the body is thin. The body is thin. I want for more that, body you, from this. You want, for that ABV... Uh, we're sipping this way too quickly and way too easily. Yeah. Now, I get... The cherry is almost turned into, like, a cherry Coke Chupa Chup lollipop. Okay. That's coming out, and I'll tell you what's started to come out even more now, is that toasted coconut. Like, it is just, all of a sudden, showed up to the party going, ah, I, what, you guys already started drinking this? Like, yeah, now it's here. There is this tropical business going wow. on. Wow. I think the, are the nuts kind of lost? The macadamia? Uh, yeah, e either I just don't know what macadamia tastes like, uh, or I'm not full, full bodied mm. and warm. You sure about that? Yeah. You sure about that? Island Paradise in a bottle is smooth, nutty, and just the right amount of sweet. After all, it's Aloha Friday. There's no work till Monday. Kiloha. Yeah, that's my knock on this beer is the body. It's thin. I, I wish it was heavier. There, there's so many rich flavors in here that I just want to coat my palate and just savor for a while. But it's just... Going in, and I'm like, man, okay, I can go back for another. I feel like I would drink this way too fast. I'd get hammered off this. Because I'd be like, oh, no, it's fucking going down. Oh, you drink this, you're hammered. Yeah. I mean. 19.6 ABV. It may not seem like it now. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I tell you, in an hour, if you fucking just slam what's in this cup. Yeah, it's over. Um, yeah, I, I, I just wish there were more body on there. Yeah. Uh, I'll give it a 4-1. I'll go 4-1. Okay. Body's really knocking it down for me. Give us a 4-2. Okay. I'm trying to think about other big barrel-aged stouts. Yeah. And where, where I've landed those. And, that, you know, if, if I put this blind in front, the uniqueness of this, uh, man, I almost want to give it, like, a higher score just because it's unique. Is I don't it think, unique? I, 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 yeah, I don't think a lot of people can brew that, pull that off. Okay. Get a really nice barrel-aged beer. Mm -hmm. And 
throw the pineapple. Pineapple, shit on yeah. It. I think that that sets it apart. Like this could have been like pineapple lifesavers kind of deal, but I feel like it's fresh pineapple. You know, okay. Rather than candied, it could have been a sickly sweet. Yeah, no, I, I the, the, the barrel agree. is just fantastic with it. It's good beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You thought you've overthought it now. It's gone beyond the point. No return for you. I wonder if Kyle had this. I mean, we got the same box, so I know he has it, but I don't know if he had it. You should ask him. I hope this wasn't one he was saving. Or to possibly review together. No, he wasn't. He does it with all those other guys. We're not part of that group. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Wish we were. Because we work different hours. Yeah, we'll keep telling ourselves yeah. that's it. Yeah. It's our work hours. You think if we worked during the you know during the day and stuff like, we'd be part of it. If that's what you want to believe, then yes, yeah. we would be part of it. Should we call Kyle right now? See if he's had it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be a bad idea. I think it'd be hilarious. Like a video thing? No, nah, let's call. I'm gonna get my phone. I mean, I got mine right here. Well, you're not part of the... You know, the messenger. It's all right. Let's call someone. Oh, you got his number? Yeah. I think I have a number. We'll see if he answers. But I could, I could video him on messenger. You're going to call him, huh? All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Kyle. Hey, Kyle, what's up? It's Mike. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, no, I'm no, we're not disturbing you, are we? Oh, no. It's open. Yeah, I'm, I'm here with Dan. We're doing some reviews. We're, like, in the middle of one right now. but Yeah, ready. camera's on. Yeah. They can hear you. Oh, this is great. Uh, so we, we had a question, because uh, we're reviewing a brewery beer. And okay. uh, it's the No Work Till Monday. Did, did, you op did you open that one from your package? No Work Till Monday? Yeah, so it's um, the double barrel aged imperial stout with toasted coconut, macadamia, and pineapple. Oh, I do kind of remember that here. Um, it's like a blend of their Aloha Friday. Oh, I might be thinking of that one actually. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's like a it's like a blue with like purple letters says NWTM on the front. We didn't know if you drank it yet or if you still had it. Um, oh, wait. So, all right. So, yeah, I'm trying to look it up right now. So, the label says, it doesn't say no work until Monday. It says what? NWTM, basically. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't drink that already. Because this is a pretty wild beer. Yeah. We were drinking it and we immediately thought of you and we're like, I wonder if Kyle's drank this yet. Um, I feel like when I'm looking at the label, I, like, I definitely recognize the label. I think I drank them. I'm going to check my YouTube channel if I did. I mean, well, I guess we could have checked your YouTube channel too. But but we figured it'd be better to call you live during our yeah. review. Because why not? Dan didn't want to. He, he was against it the whole time. But I said, no, we're calling him. <laughs> Mike was dead set. He'll answer. He's our friend. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did review it already about a year ago, yeah. Okay. Oh, jeez. All right. All right. We're going to have to go back. So there you go. All right. There you go, folks. Kyle's had it. You you need to go back. We'll link Kyle's. Well, I was going to say, we'll link Kyle's review. <laughs> so if you want to find out what this beer is really about, Kyle will tell you. Don't listen to us. <laughs> I'm super curious. I'll have to, I, I never knew it, but I'll have to watch my review of this. Okay. All right. You, you don't remember, like, anything about it? Like, ours is, like, insanely fruity. Like, the pineapple is just, like... It's crazy how much it pops. Yeah. Thin body. The, the, it's lacking a lot in the body, but... Okay. Um, yeah, I'll have to... I, I'll watch it right now. Um, All right. Cool. All right. Cool. Well, thanks for letting us bother you, buddy. Yeah. No, no problem. I was just going to 
was playing some video games up in it. Oh, what are you playing? Special. <laughs> some Mario Maker. Oh, right okay. on. All right. <laughs> well, continue to construct your Mushroom Kingdom world. Will do, will do. <laughs> All right, good to talk right, to buddy. you, man. Uh, say, hey, say, say bye to the FLX universe, which is three people, really, but, you know. So really, just say goodbye to Billy. I was going to say, who's the third person? There's the two of them. So, so there's yeah. Billy? No, no. Uh, what we mean is our community. Yeah. And well, I saw that, yeah, Dan's wife had bought some mystery beers. I guess there's three of you, yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah you're good. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, still, you can say hi to Billy because he watches our videos. He's the only one that does. True. But... Billy's, Billy's the uh, OT goat. Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thanks. Let's get back to your game. Yeah, have a good one, buddy. Right. You too, guys. See ya. See ya. Well, there you have it. Impromptu phone call. Kyle's still our friend. Well, it's your true. friend. Well, you got his number. I don't got his number. Well, it's just because we hung out when we when were down there in Albany. Okay. Down in the description, leave a comment. Do you have friends? <laughs> More than just one? <laughs> Let us know. Uh, all the links are down there. Uh, it's been another brewery day. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Cheers, Billy. <laughs>